Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Let's Play thing of The Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, last time I got the cool white sword, and I got a couple heart containers and stuff. This time I am taking on level 4, uh, dungeon level 4. Um, one thing is I played a little bit off camera here because I, before I could take on level 4, I need to get a candle. And a candle costs 60 rupees. And I have 61. Look right up there. Yay! So, let's go get the candle and move on to level 4. Kill a couple Octoroks in my way. Head right over here from the start. This first cave you find here is where you can buy your candle. I believe. Yes. Okay. 60 rupees. I will buy that. And now I have one rupee arrow left, but that's all right. Let me get my candle out, because I should be able to start burning things now. Yay! All right. Get rid of these guys. Ooh, five rupees, excellent. I was hoping to get another heart or two, but rupees will do. Ooh, fairy. Fairy, fairy, fairy. Yes. So? Level 4, now that we have our raft, level 4 is right up here. And head on in. And here's level 4. I will show you in a moment why we need that blue candle. Um, after we get rid of these keys. Ah! 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 Oh, whoops. Okay. Didn't even drop anything. Okay. <laughs> That's alright. Head on this way. Get on. What are these guys called? I don't know. Ah! They split into red keys. Mm, bouncy guys. Like I said in a previous video, I don't really. Back in this game, I didn't really pay attention to what the names of the creatures were. I just made up my own names. Um, here's a room that you can see full of these bouncy guys. I can't go walk anywhere. So I use my candle and it lights it up and then I can see where everything is. So now I can grab my compass. Take on bouncer guys. Ah. If I can beat them without dying. Which is... If you've watched any of my videos you'll know that is kind of a challenge for me. But... That's all right. One left. Get in. Oh, peace. Okay, nothing else. So I was just wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be anything else in here. But yeah, that's why you need the candle. You can try to take this place on without it, but it might be a little tough. I don't really need to fight them right now. Head on north. Quite a whole bunch more peace. I like the candle, because it leaves the fire there for a moment. And if any enemies touch it, then they're fried up. There's another dark room. With more hoppers. And this room looks really familiar. Ah. Let's see if I get anything for beating them all on this one. Ah. Ah. Stop! Okay. Ow! Oh, and our old friend the Beep is back. So nothing in this room. Another dark room. Yeah, you're not going to get very far without having that candle in here. Okay. Got a key. Yes, one heart. Let's see if I can get one more. Nope. Okay. Wish I had some bombs and I could test some of these walls. I don't know if there's any bombable walls in here or not. Head on here, another dark room. Light it up. You got your bubbles there. And your hoppers. Let's stop. Very close to having the beeping sound back. Oh well. Three keys left. About to be two keys left. Get some of them right there. Ah. 
this wouldn't be so bad if they would drop items, but they turn into these keys that don't drop items when they die. So, oh, jeez, there goes the beep again. Um, I will go this way since it just opened up. Ooh, like likes. And, um, bots or bits or. Can't remember what I did said. Oh, ugh. Oh, so many deaths. That's okay. I'll continue. Head on in. Just. See, we'll find out where we were. Let's get my candle back out for the dark rooms. Avoid them. Avoid all these guys. I don't need anything from you. There's a dark room. Yeah, I wish it would at least fill up my health all the way. When I had to continue. Oh well. That's what happens when you're weak sauce, or whatever it is people say these days. Rupee. Rupee. Five rupee. Rupee. No, no rupee. Heart. Excellent. Boop. Add on in here. Oops. Get my candle back out. At least I'm almost back where I was. Watch out for the bubbles and the bouncers. Oh, I gotta fight these guys again. Okay. I wonder... Can I fight, beat them with just one arrow? Let's see. No. Okay. Well, at least I know that now. Let's get my boomerang out, because I could get the keys with that. At least. Ah. Alright. I'm busy there. Ah. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Put that on back over here. Back to where we were. Get my arrows back out. I don't want the like like getting me. Ooh, rupees. Always good. Like I said, when I got the arrows, it's nice that they just use the rupee instead of having to pick up a separate arrow pickup. But the problem is, you can't save up rupees if you use your bow too much. And the bow is always one of my favorite items to use in Zelda games. Oh, I forget when the bubbles touch me, I can't use my sword for a moment. Oh. Anything in here? Oh, there we go. Staircase. Ooh, and there's the ladder, which we will use very soon. Very, very soon. Ah. One, two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, head back out here. Ah, bubbles. Now I'm. I know that there's supposed to be skulls in there, but they just look like smiley faces. All right, now before we. Oh, I forgot we can do that now. Head on up here. Oh, dark room. And the map's in here. That'll come in handy too. Little oops, I can't get the map yet though. Okay. Head back this way. Ah! Let me get my boomerang back out. Okay. There we go. Ah. Ah. Ah! Come on, stop! Back to the dark room, get my candle back out again. Exciting stuff, huh? Now we can cross over there, through this key door, and I still have one key thanks to that trick from before. Now, I don't know if there's an item drop in here, but we better find out. This boomerang really comes in handy against the keys it knocks him out in one hit of the boomerang. Now, the blue boomerang is nice compared to the regular boomerang because it goes across the screen. Problem is, it goes across the screen, so if you're just trying to get something close to you, you throw it, you need to wait for it to come all the way back to you. 
but luckily I didn't have too much of a problem there, even though I am very low on hearts yet again. Now I can get my map. My candle. Light that up. Get rid of him. And we got the map. Excellent. I always thought this looked like E.T. By them real quick. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I could beat this without bombs, and I have no bombs. So this is going to. Oh, that didn't do anything. This might be a two death dungeon. <laughs> yep. Definitely a two death dungeon. Ah, uh, continue. Head all the way back up here. Oh yeah, I went over there. There was something over there. So head up, up, up the mountain. That's another spoiler for later. Ah! I don't know how I'm gonna beat that guy without bombs. We'll see if I can do it. Maybe I'll get lucky. Stop! Ah. Or maybe in a few minutes I will leave the dungeon and go buy some bombs. Of course I'll have to get more rupees because I just used all of mine on getting no item drops. You know, we'll try. We'll see if we can do it. These hopper guys just get so in the way. Ah, stop. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Ah. I have one heart. No bombs. Never beaten this guy without bombs before. He sure throws a lot of fireballs. Oh, there's one, okay. Each claw will take. Uh... That was me hanging my head in shame there for a second. So each claw takes two hits of the white sword, that's good to know. Let's see if I could get to him with more than one heart. Back up here. Back around here. Through the dark rooms. Light the fire. Avoid the hoppers. Beat the keys. Why are you all clustered around the door? Ugh. No. Get away from the door. Get away from the door, guys. Okay. That seems to be my biggest problem room. Wait, can I beat... Yeah, with the white sword, I can just beat these guys with my sword and one that now they don't split. Alright. Slightly more prepared than I was before. Not by much, but... It's something. If I could avoid the bubbles, yes. If I could avoid these hoppers. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this this time. Fireballs. I can't even leave once I'm in here. I'm just... This is my doom. Oh boy. This is not looking good. Oh. No. Oh, so close. Well, I am going to go and get some bombs.
slowly to see if it will sound normal at fast speed. Let's see. My bombs. I filled up my hearts at the ferry. So now we are ready to take on level 4 and we are ready to beat it. After what is going to be way, way, way too long of an episode. And I didn't even have to buy bombs. I found some while I was looking for the shop where you buy bombs, which I <laughs> couldn't find. But that's okay. So I got four bombs. Got my light. I could fight these guys from far away. Although I could have done that a little bit. At least the keys portions with my boomerang, but now I can beat them all. Like the blue part and the red fire keys part. They're not fire keys in this game, I guess. Oh, come on! That wasn't fair. I guess it's because the sword beam technically had him not the sword itself. Oh well, I'm still in good shape. Head on up here. Fire. Watch out for the bubbles. Happy little bubbles. Ah. Do a little avoid the bubble dance. Right up here, okay. Whew. One more room here. And here's Captain Four Claws again, so let's get my bomb out. And let's see how far I can do this. There's two. This guy is so much easier with bombs. Alright. And it only cost me about a heart, because I already was missing some. So let's continue on. It did cost me my four bombs, but that's okay. Walk into the waterfall. Will do. There's my boomerang. See, and now I have no keys, but I didn't have to buy any or anything, so that's good. Here's one, too, to get it back. Eat these keys. Okay, nothing. Now I'm wishing I had bombs again, because I'm betting there's like a secret down there. Because if you look on my map, there's a blank spot there, but I can't bomb it. Oh well. We're almost to the dungeon boss, and then we could put this depressing, sad episode behind us. Ah, uh, fight these guys. Oh, let me get my boomerang out. See, that's what I was talking about with that boomerang issue. It's nice to have the distance when you want to attack someone from far away, but when you want to attack someone close and you miss, which I do a lot, then you're in trouble. And one left. I don't know if this is what's going to open the door. Ah! No. Push that and flip him. Okay. Okay, I don't remember which boss this is, so let's find out together. Boop. Oh, the dragon. Who had a dragon thing? Let's see. I remember not doing too well against this guy as a kid. That's why. I remember now. Ooh, I got him. Ah! Huh. Did much better on him than I expected. So that up here, and our fourth piece of the Triforce! Yay! Boom! And finally, we can say farewell to level four. So that's the end of this episode. Sorry I died so many times. And here I was thinking I was going to have a no-death episode, but oh well, I will be able to... Hopefully one level I will be able to beat without dying. Did I beat the first one without dying? I don't even remember. But that's the end of this level and episode, so if you like the video, like it and subscribe and stuff, and if not, then thanks for watching it this far, I appreciate it. 
Um, and if you have any feedback on how my channel is doing, um, or things you would like to see me do differently, anything like that, please, please, please let me know. You can leave a comment down there, or wherever it is on your viewing platform of choice on the internet website, web browser, computer thing, it's down there that where Link is shooting his sword. Otherwise, we will see you next time, and by we, I mean I. Bye!